uh, my neighbors came, some work done to his house. He's actually putting an addition onto his roof, so he's making a bigger house for himself. But that's what the noise is. I've got my own wall noise maker here, the uh, radio flyer, and I have this out on this nice November morning. And what we're going to be doing today is something that I've never shared with anybody before. I think this is the perfect time to do it. We're going to be doing a radio rescue. Now, there's an elderly gentleman, I'm, I'm not going to give you his name or where, what area in New Jersey he's in, uh, but I have some driving to do, and uh, he actually has two pieces. Uh, I actually know what already what it's going to be, but I'll, I'll show it to you when uh, when we get there and surprise you. And uh, what we're going to be doing is he, he just wants him out of his house because he's going to be moving, and uh, he, he wanted to give him to somebody that he knows that will do well with it. So we're actually going to be rescuing these things from the... Uh, from the dumpster and instead of landfill, uh, they'll probably get working and either get put in a museum or in someone's personal collection. So we're going to go for a drive. So uh, come on and uh, let's see what we're going to be getting. Catch you later. Bye. I was going to say, do you want a video? Well, we just got out from the basement. There's Max. Okay, so the two of us got that out from the basement. And it's kindly wrapped. Can you guess what it is? And there it is. Voila, that's a Philco Model 16. And according to the owner, it hasn't been out of his basement in about, what did he say, like 45 years? Uh, I think so. It's been 30 since he touched it, and it's been in the basement for probably 50 or 60 years. They moved in in the 50s. Yeah, so there you go. And it's actually in really nice shape. It's missing a knob, but it's in really nice shape. And the owner claims that the last time he played it, it ran. We're, we're, we're not really sure how well it played if you take a look at those caps right there. But uh, I'm sure I'm sure Max will recap it before uh, we fire it up. There's the sticker showing the uh, the tube laid out, tube layout, and the radio. Okay, here's the other piece that uh, was rescued. This is I get the up here. I was told. Was this is a transmitter from World War II that went into a tank? I don't know how true that is or not, but it's got a number of things going on. Here's like a little plexiglass window you could look inside. Some other things here, and connector on the side that might be for that wire right there that came with it so there you go so there ends the radio rescue so I drove uh, drove about 35 minutes either way and uh, brought this guy home saved this uh, old transmitter I'm sure it's not it's not for me, but I'm sure that there are military people that might have an interest into it. And uh, Max brought home his uh, first console radio, that, that 16 mile, uh, 16 Philco. Went home with Max back to his residence. So uh, all in all, it was a fun day. It was beautiful outside. It was nice taking the radio flyer for a drive. And uh, the most important thing is that these pieces didn't up, end up as landfills. So uh, they're going to get revived and go to somebody who'll really appreciate it. And, uh, Keep them alive for a little while longer. So, anyway, thanks for tuning in. So, uh, take care. Bye.